Uh, so here we are. I better turn this fan off. Like, ah, make a little noise. Hey, the doggy, man. The doggy needs to be <laughs> dusted, <laughs> cleaned off. Take care of your doggy, man. I don't this thing here. I'm oh, sorry. Hey, you know, not my fault. I don't own you. I'm just here. Yeah. Uh, look, uh, this is a, a Monday. It's my fasting day. I fast on Mondays. And, uh, of course, it's my, uh, my birthday. When I say my birthday, I was born on a Monday, which is supposed to do. I know y'all don't do it, but what you're supposed to do is the day the week that you're born, you're supposed to basically, you know, fast that day. You know, take a, you're supposed to, when you wake up in the morning, well, whenever you do, you're supposed to take a nice herbal bath and all that stuff. Anyway, um, I don't take the, be- wow, well, I don't do that. But, you know, when I get in a situation like this, I will. If I ever get back to Africa, <laughs> <laughs> I can do that. <laughs> oh man! My wife said, "Are oh, you ever come out?" We we talked about that before, anyway. People are saying, "Ah, oh, yeah, people, whatever it is." Now, just in case you don't know, um, these uh, Mondays, about two Mondays ago, I um, there's the other dog. About two Mondays ago, uh, I started a ritual uh, that uh, basically is. Uh, my brother had passed, like a, you know, in May, and so it's it observed a 90-day, you know, mourning for him. That's the official kind of thing. I'll probably mourn for him for the next. Actually, the same when somebody passed, you'd be mourning for like three years and stuff like that. So anyway, uh, so I broke that uh, that mourning period uh, uh, two weeks ago uh, with a with a libation poured out back for him, and then last week, you know, Chadwick Boseman passed, and so I did one for him. I guess you know. But, uh, you know, so many people pass all the time. This thing is still dirty. They, they pass all the time, and it doesn't make any... I mean, this is not a ritual I want to do every week. I'll be drinking myself now, I wouldn't say that. But uh, So but I think this is probably going to be the last one because so many people pass every week that, you know. So this is a libation to all the folks who passed before and all the poor folks who are going to pass since, you know. So... Uh, now um, let me go back out there and do this right now, so uh, you'll understand. When I come back, I'll explain some more. So just take it out. Probably turn off the fan too, so you won't hear that ambiance. It's not a bit, not a bad ambiance. Actually, you should actually properly do it with some uh, real spirits, you know, some 100 proof nars, all right? But I do it the South Bronx way. We used to do it with like cheap wine you know, every Friday. It's like 13 years old, me and Michael Brown every Friday, man, for some inexplicable reason. We go to the local liquor store, they have a wine outside. We give him some money so he go in, inside, you know, buy, the, buy himself a little thing, buy us a little thing, cheap wine, right? We go to PS18 Park, you know, PS18 School Park. Our school was PS31, so we couldn't go there. Well, that's way up on the hill anyway. So <laughs> this is in the South Bronx, part of the projects. And so we literally take a pint, you know, a little, and every Friday, for some stupid, stupid reason, we drink the whole, like, that. you sharing this thing? And then we would um, <laughs> properly throw up. This went on for quite a while. I have no idea, but I got over wine for a long, long, long time. So you could do it with any libation, I guess. I prefer dark beer. Um, I mean, because it'd be red wine and stuff like that. But uh, I, I prefer Guinness to do. I'm going to advertise them. But, um, and I leave the head on. I mean, I, I, let, I let it go. So the head come up, see, like that. I don't do that side thing like that. One of my favorite drinks is like a half and half you know, with, with Guinness and another ale. Uh uh, so, you know, a spoon over the tap. When I, when I was in Milan, Italy, I had to teach them how to do a half and half, you know, with the Guinness and the, and the beer. I had to teach them how to do that with the spoon, with the, over the spoon at the spigot. It's business. Ah, don't um, so anyway, I, I thought I'd start this ritual, but, you know, nah, I'm, I'm not really a drinker. And, 
And, and the only reason why I got this is only because I had to get I wanted to get a big bottle of Guinness for my brother like a couple of weeks ago, and they didn't have that here. And I only do this uh, extra stout. Okay, I will advertise a little extra stout. But they only but they didn't have the big bottle. They had a six pack of these little bottles. These little uh, how much? What, what is the uh, what is the uh, what is it? What is it? What the hell? I can't even read this thing. I don't know how many well, liters, ounces, or whatever the heck it is. Not eleven point five Canadian product of Ireland. Uh, yeah, it's a real Guinness, you know. Anyway, I can't see what the thing is. It's here someplace, I suppose. They have to tell you. Oh, here it is. Five point six. Oh, alcohol volumes. Okay, uh, uh, eleven point two fluid ounces. Five six is the alcohol content. What am I doing the front? I always like the Guinness, but I like the harp and all that stuff like that. I always want to be, you know, like Dorothy Ashby. I want to play that harp thing, you know. But I guess it's sort of like a feminine thing. But hey, I like harp, you know. Get a mouse off harp. So you pour the libation, you know. You 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 do, um you say the name of your ancestors. Why you do that? And, uh, and usually, when you have a lot of people, everybody's saying the name of their ancestors. And like I explained last week, what's supposed to really happen is that that's almost like you're calling all your ancestors to welcome this new ancestor with a newly, um, newly transitioned ancestor into the fold and all that stuff. You know, like like you know, like when they went to, I guess, doing the Black Panther thing. There's well, the Chadwick Boseman thing because in Black Panther they showed the ancestral realm. So I guess that's sort of. Appropriate. So this would be appropriate. This would be the last one. I'm only going to do this. Would be the third one, and this third one is for everybody. Is going to go. It's going to be transitioned forever, you know. And and ones and and all the ones went before. I have this thing called a, the third infinity. It's like an hour. Like, well, you know, like like, like you, we're here in this this point here, and then you like that. So so if you want to look at it in some way, like one. Extra thing for the hourglass is like the the, the infinite uh, past and the other the infinite future of whatever like that, and uh, we are right here at this particular point. And but at this particular point, we're so at this particular infinite point, then you know you're 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 neither past nor future. But every time like I'm gonna speak right now, it's already past, you know. And you see you see that thing. The best way I can put it. Let me do it the Christian way. I've been to the Sistine Travel. Well, I've had the Sistine Travel. You know, they had the thing with, with, with I guess, whoever, the, some human, some some dude, you know, and God is a dude, and they're like that. But then they really don't touch. But that infinite, that's that point right there. So I'm just, I don't know, to you. But look, things are changing. Things have to change, and we have to, right? Things have to change. Shagan said, yeah. Uh, one of the people I follow is uh, Michi X. M-E-C-H-E-E. And then the letter X. Michi is her first name, like that. I love this woman. Well, I, mean, I don't know her, nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm a little bit old for it. Plus, I'm married anyway. But that's not. But that's not what I mean. But she's so she's initiated this thing. Um, um, oh, what is it? Of course, you know, there's a brother behind the scene. Oh man, what's his name? Anyway, it's an old guy like me. You know, we got to do something, man. Cause you know we done failed. We done failed. This is the, the I'm a boomer generation. We done failed, y'all. Okay, I'm an outlier boomer. You know, uh, I'm at this place with my boomer friend. My best friend's a boomer, now, but he's he's done. I've always been in uh, in my life. I've always had somebody who's like my thing, but they've gone to what they've done, and I've gone where I've gone, and it's infinite. Anyway, uh, uh, they have this thing. Um, if you go to um, there's a thing called I think uh, extraction attraction. Extraction, E-X-T-R-A-C-T-I-O-N, attraction, A-T-T-R-A-C-T-I-O-N, extraction, attraction, attraction, whatever. It's a news channel. Well, that's a channel, but she's starting a news channel. But this is very important because it's like, what, you know, what the Internet is supposed to be, where you can, with, with your cell phone or whatever have you, you can, you, you register with them through, uh, through but just, just go, just go to BTS, go to extraction, attraction, and, 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 and you know, subscribe to the channel. You know, just follow me, TX. Okay, uh, okay. If you, if you if you can't stand cursing, then you. Uh, but you know, there's probably be other. She'll have citizen journalists. You find out about it, and I didn't think that's the way to go. I mean, I'm not going. I don't. I don't think I'm. I'm not. I'm, I'm moving around too much. I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't go to these. Uh, I mean, that'd be. But when I get back to South Africa, I might even just before then. I talk to because um, I know several uh, journalists in South Africa. 
And uh, maybe I'll even, oh, Sheppy's class. Okay, I may even have a way that, you know, budding journalists, at least in South Africa. So this would be a worldwide phenomenon. Hey, Michi, you don't know it yet, but you're going to have at least some stuff in that South Africa, maybe Kenya. You know, I mean, you know, who knows? You know, this might be, a, you might be starting something that you have no idea where it's going to. So anyway, so support me, TX, uh, um, um, extract attraction. I forgot what the news it is. Something Max, whatever. It's it's it's, it's, it's going to be a news channel that's for people, not these journalists. You know, I saw this thing they were doing. Um, this whole started. When I had some dialogue with this guy because I I subscribed to this guy, um, uh, uh, Louis Spot, L U I L U I S P O T, Louis Spot. He's out of Kenya. Young cat, I like, and I I I do his Patreon. He's the only Patreon I do right now. I should do others, but I only do him because I t- like to I like to um, encourage younger people, and I think he's on the right track. But he posts these uh, these um, speeches and stuff like that from African leaders, and they had Paul Kagame on uh, uh, Kagame on there, you know, from um, uh, you know um, the 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 future city, the, the real the the the, the close to Wakanda as you can get in Africa, whatever his country is, Rwanda. Sorry. Um, um, and, you know, he's being interviewed by some American journalists. I guess they were, I don't know where they were, at some forum, whatever. It's one of those, like, Clinton-esque, or Democratic-esque forum, you know what I mean? And, you know, the white person, and he's, he's a white guy. He's doing the regular questions, and uh, he's giving the regular answers. Then he said, we have time for one more question. So, like, all the way in the back, I think it was a setup, all the way in the back, they had this white woman, came up. you know, she's, you know, dressed in a way, you know, dress and all that, you know, proper or whatever. Have you. And she asked one of these leading questions, you know, one of these regular questions that you would get from like CNN. It's, it's like everybody's, they're all, how you say, um, auditioning for something else. I don't know what the deal is. You know, I, I, that's not how I do my trip. Why? I don't, I don't, anyway, but the point is, um, so hopefully, well, well no, it, it, the, what Michi X and, 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 and that crew is here, what Extraction, Extraction is going to be doing, I think is going to be more honest and more to the ground and reality. Let's put it that way. So we need reality. We don't need these canned journalists to go to the journalism school and you got to be dressed proper and blah, blah, and you got to talk proper and blah, 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 blah. So, uh, uh, you know, to to, uh, to the people who have gone before, also, let's, let's make this a celebratory thing for, for the past and for the future, the future of journalism, real journalism. Talk to you later. Mm. Mm. Talk to you later.